Sydney Bama Nation. We're down here at Alberto Cranes, Gracie Baja Burbank, here with Jared going up against Terry on where? Also known as the Flash, but you're the jock hammer. So right. rumor has it you're a hard hitter. I am. I am. I'm a people don't want to stand bang with me, they don't normally want to take me down, so hopefully he wants to stand bang. Alright, going into it, this is our first interview for Bad Beat, and then we're going into it. You fought with us before for Bad Beat 1. Yes. Going into Bad Beat 8 now, the main event. Give us a little history about how you got into MMA. Uh, how I got into MMA was uh, I was in high school. I was on a uh, high school football team, and uh, one of the players that I was playing with was uh, jacking people in the locker and whatnot, and I confronted on him about it, and then he didn't like what I had to say, and then we got in a fight. About a month later, he got him and his brother's friends, and uh, they jumped me. And uh, I just wanted to pretty much, you know, learn how to properly fight. And um, I walked into a gym and just loved it. Just wanted to learn how to protect yourself at first. And well, I always thought, you know, I always be able to take care of myself one on one. But when you get jumped by ten guys, it really affected me mentally. So it kind of made me think like, I don't know shit. So yeah. And it just pushed you from there. Yeah, it just pushed pushed me to, uh, to the next level. You know, just the whole objective was to fight them all, but I, I didn't end up doing that. I just let it go. And how many years have you been in MMA, per se? Eight years. Eight years? Yeah. And then it's been kind of a roller coaster ride for you. It's been, yeah, it's been a, a journey. All right, well, going, getting ready for this fight, we actually talked to Terry on where about this fight, and he was saying that uh, you, uh, you're the guy to beat, but he thinks that maybe you're underestimating him? Not one bit. I think he's tough. Um, I went to go see him fight, you know, if I didn't think he was tough, I wouldn't go do a whole scouting report and do all that, but I think he's very tough, you know, I think it's going to be an exciting fight, I'm going to come to fight, and hopefully he comes to fight. I actually talked to Terry on about it, and he was saying that he knew that you are out there watching him at the last fight that he had, and uh, he said he wasn't intimidated by that. <laughs> well, I wasn't, you know, I'm not trying to intimidate, I'm just trying to do my homework, that's all. That's actually exactly what he said, that you're doing his homework, and he respected that. So, um, I just want to know, uh, getting into it, coming from the UFC, and then coming back to us, you know, there's so many promotions out there, so many people knowing your name. Why did you choose to come back with us for Bad Beat 8? Um, Brett's always treated me very well. Um, I consider him as a friend, is, and he's, uh, you know, I want to fight here in California, and it's close to home, so I want to, you know, all my fans and uh, family to come to the fight. Now, going into this also, something Tarion was saying is uh, you know, this is a big fight for him. He really has nothing to lose going into this fight. Uh, win or lose, you know, it's it's good for him. Does that make him more dangerous as an opponent? Absolutely. He's very dangerous. He's great stand up. He's just very well rounded. I have more to lose than he does. Um, but you know, we're, we're gonna go there and put on a show. Who whoever wins wins, you know. Does that drive you a little bit more? No, my whole goal is, uh, is just to get back to the UFC. That's what the big show is, and in order for me to do that, i got to start winning. So that's my goal. And the good thing about that, too, you're not just taking easy fights coming out. You're taking yeah. high-caliber fights. Yeah, I told Brett, you know, I don't want to fight chumps. I want to fight the real deal. Chumps is not going to get me back to the big show. i got to fight guys with great records, and they're going to come to fight. Again, right for this one, talking to Terry on, he, he thinks that his advantage is going to be speed. What's going to be your advantage going into this fight? Uh, I feel like my advantage for him is just my experience, you know, I have more experience than him, I have more cage time, um, this is his first time doing five fives, I mean five threes, um, so I think that's going to be different, um, you know, I, I have a lot of experience over him, so. So we know that training is going hard for you, how is, how is cutting weight for this fight? Uh, for it's going good, it's not going to be too bad, my last fight was at 125, so it's, it's not going to be anything like that, so. It's a little bit easier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now getting ready for this fight, a lot of people want to get to know the fighters before they enter the cage. So is there any social media that people can follow you on, Twitter, Facebook? Yeah, you can follow me on uh, Facebook at Jared Papazian and also Jared Jackhammer Papazian as a, for my fan page. Um, for Twitter, it's Jackhammer135 and Instagram is also Jackhammer135. Right. Is there any shout outs you want to give to your fan sponsors? Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, my gym, Alberto Crane at Burbank, PKG, um, Sports West. Um, Result Fitness, SK Golden Boys, my manager Darren Harvey, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, and everybody that comes out and uh, support me. Um, thank you. Question. It was just my personal question. 
How did you get the nickname the Jackhammer? Uh, by my style. Um, I never stop. I just keep on coming. The ground and pound. Just Jackhammer never stops. So that, that's it. Okay. All right. Here with Jared Papazian going up against Terry on Ware. Terry on Ware. Uh, Jackhammer versus Flash. We'll see who's either quicker or who's a heavy hitter. You can come see him at Bad B8 March 15th at Commerce Casino.